last time on Street Behavior. I will find a better job, because trust me, I don't want to be here just as much as you don't want me here. Oh, really? <sighs> Can you please just fucking talk to me? No, you're so fucking pathetic! <sighs> Motherfucker! I knew you would do this to me! How are you going to stand me up? That woman and another man in our bed? How did you... Get the fuck away from my door, I'm going to fuck you with this knife. But you know what, bitch? You ain't here! This is my story! Today is a little different. I woke up with the sunrise in my vision and thought to myself, how could we sleep through something so beautiful every morning? The people who complain about getting up before it get to see it every day and take it all for granted. What if one day the sun did not rise? Can you say complete chaos? RJ Vinay presents Street Behavior. Street Behavior, no one can save you. Stick em up, son, and run what they gave you. Ain't nothing nice in the heist for the ice. Ain't nothing nice in the fight for your life. Street Behavior, friends will betray you. Thought they will save you. Look who done played you. Ain't nothing nice in the heist for the ice. Ain't nothing nice in the fight for your life. I believe some enemies who don't want to see me breathe or even succeed was all about the team but fuck the family when the fam ain't giving a damn up the me let me see ya shit gets real with cats it's all shiesty and the women be up on the time i got feelings for a guy we spend mad time together every day got better yeah in the beginning things always seem great but a year in the love turned into hate phone calls waking me up niggas calling private you thought i didn't see you put your phone on silent he started lying stories wasn't adding up you know what time it is when niggas start to act up Found out about the time you let Nick play with your dick I know You fucked around with Tommy and thought he could keep a secret Good morning, Miss James Hello, Mr. Rappers, how are you today? I am fab on the way to go get me my morning coffee Can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, you know, I love to hear your stories But I just got off the double shift and I am dead tired Some Look, other time I'm I'll make it fast I was talking to Jonathan Okay, and look, I know we go way back We grew up together but no son of mine is going to be a homosexual. Do you understand that? Not as long as I'm alive, okay? End of story. I'm glad you brought that up. I was only going to mention that I'm helping Jonathan to find a job. Oh, really? But since you brought it up, how is it? You were the first person to come to my rescue when we were younger. That was a long time ago. Long time ago or not. But now, since your, your son likes boys... My son does not like boys. You're right. He likes men. Okay, look, he denies it himself. He said he and the boy are just friends. And you know when he's at that age, he's, he's, he's just confused. He's going through a phase. Confused or scared of your crazy ass? Excuse me? Crazy ass! Honey, I've seen you go off and it's not cute. Okay, look, it is way too early in the morning to be dealing with this right now. And you know what else? It is just none of your business now, is it? Is it? Bus. Good day, Miss James. Where the fuck have you been? Damn, how do you two? Shit, I've been out here working. I still can't believe you call this bullshit work. You wanna come out here and start this shit, man? I'm trying to get my money up and get a car. Nigga, you ain't Russ. You can't get your money up because you a paper thug. Look, shut the fuck up. That nigga locked up, so I'll run the streets. I ain't Russ. Listen, Terrell, we've been dating since junior high school. And when we got out of college, we were supposed to get out this neighborhood and never look back. Look, I'm gonna get us out this shit, man. You just gotta give me more time. What do you think, I'm gonna wait around forever? Anyway, look, give me a ride to work, and at least you'll have a car for the rest of the day. Thanks, baby. Look, I'm gonna get us out this. I'm just doing it a different way than what we planned, man. You just gotta be patient. Hey Phoenix, on my way to the office, uh, 
what does Russ getting locked up have to do with me? Um, are not working on the player situation. So you want me to run the block and go into the office every day. Well, there's money better be adding up. Yeah, she's dead, so, but that don't have anything to do with my money. But, whatever, um, we'll work something out. Alright. Are you going to tell me what happened the other day? I'm still having those nightmares. Sweetie, you have got to talk to somebody about those nightmares. It's causing me to drink. You always have to do something fucking smart all I'm the time. I'm not. You know, when you first met me, you told me it was my intelligence that attracted you. And now with the drinking, I don't even know who you are anymore. Who am I? Well, to some people, you're Peanut. But to me, you're Jeremiah. The boy who walked into my office asking for help. You know, you never did help me with what I really want. Maybe I'm trying to help you because I can't. Sorry, just because I haven't seen you in days. But what you want to talk about? I just want to talk about us and how, how some things got to change. Look, man, if the situation is too much for you to handle, then we can just be friends. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be that easy for you. And clearly you know what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm just going to bounce. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. It's whatever, man. Anyway, I... We gotta find you another place to stay because I can't take you not being yourself. This is your mother. She isn't in charge of your life. Unfortunately, while I'm under her roof, that's how things are, are gonna have to be. And besides, how am I supposed to find a place to live when I got this black ass job? Well, that's the part I haven't quite figured out yet. Jonathan, what are you doing? Mother. Hello, Miss James. <laughs> how are you? What I tell you about hanging out with that boy? Well, you know what? Maybe you should just go live with him then because you are no longer welcome in my house. Ma, we're just talking. Okay. Okay. Excuse us, because we're leaving. Jonathan, you're just going to leave me standing here? If you were just friends, you would know how important his mother is to him. Well, as a mother, you should understand that your son is a grown-ass man. Watch your mouth! And I am a grown-ass man as well. I will be addressed in that fashion. Unlike your son, I am not scared of you. Ma, let's just go. I'm glad you can meet with me finally. You know, it's always a pleasure to be able to sit and talk to you. Your words are just so inspirational to me. True, true. Well, I just wanted to check on you, being that I know the anniversary of your parents' accident is coming. I'm sure you could use some prayer. You know, friendly shoulder, of course. You know, don't, have, don't worry about that, okay? We need to be talking about this church fundraiser that's coming up. But you can't just not talk about it. You know holding things inside isn't the best way to handle anything. Man! I said I didn't want to fucking talk about it. You know what? I'm about to go. Jonathan, we have to talk! And I mean right now! Actually, there's nothing that we need to talk about, period. Excuse me? You heard me. You know, I am done discussing my personal life with you. I'm not my father. You can't keep treating me like shit because he fucked up. Watch your mouth. Oh. You know, my mouth is so watched, I can't even breathe without you flipping out on me. Jonathan, listen I'm to not me. done. Sit down. Sit down! I'm 26 years old. And I'm not going to change just because you don't like who I've grown up to be. Would you rather I be some thug on the street or who I am? Who are you? I shouldn't have to keep telling you that. Oh, when you can tell me who you are, then I will accept it. Until then, Jonathan, I am done. Do you understand me? I am done.
not that I don't want to see them, I just don't want to have to explain it anything. Anything like what? Something I'd rather not talk about. <laughs> if you keep things bottled up, they're gonna eat at you. Vanessa! Is that you? Vanessa? No, I am not fucking Vanessa. <laughs> Come on, Vanessa, quit playing. I need some real bad right now. Like I said, I'm not fucking Vanessa. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm sorry. You look like her. However, I apologize to both of you. That was strange. You have to get used to that type of shit, remember? People fucking up our groove. I meant interrupting our conversation. Right. What are we talking about? All right, you bring that in, thank you. Hello, Phoenix. Hey. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. What's going on? How did Russ get arrested? Wait a minute. Who's running the block? All right, so you got that taken care of? Okay. But wait, I haven't explained that to them as of yet. Right. Okay, look, what precinct is he at? Okay, I just got finished playing golf. I'm here at home right now, I'm getting ready to go change. I'll be there in a few moments. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I hate to be a therapist, but I want to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Okay. What do you want to know? Well, I know that you were 11 when it happened, but what did your mother say? She said I was a liar. And if I told anybody, she'd kick me out of the house. Why would she think you would lie about something like that? I was young, you know. I lied a lot. I get out of trouble. You know. So you used to be a little troublemaker, huh? Maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. It won't hurt for too long. Ah, what are you doing? What are you Grandma? doing? What is wrong with you? Have you lost your what mind? What the fuck is your problem? I am so sorry, miss. Oh my god. Don't I know you from somewhere? Um, I don't think so. You look familiar. You really well, do. Well, um, I apologize again. I'm so sorry, oh Miss. Come on, Jeremiah. Sure, I, I thought it was somebody else. Yeah, I just got attacked in this park by this fucking nigger. Yeah. Mind you, he was with this girl that I think I recognized from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl, I can't believe I just got back in town and these motherfuckers ready to attack me. Ugh. Girl, I need to get downtown. Girl, I need to start, start working. Ugh. Yeah. I'm really fucking gagging. Yeah, he really tried to attack me. Can you believe that? Ugh, I cannot believe that. Yeah, like I literally walked up onto me and tried to grab me and I started screaming. I can't believe it. Oh man, the food looks so good. I know, it reminds me of my mother. <laughs> hey, Ivana, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, um, how are you? Good. Who the fuck are you? Yo, why are you tripping? You already met me and my wife. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh God, I'm so sorry, Angela. It's my colleague. Oh, colleague. That's what you call me, sis. <sighs> um, that's sorry. And, and um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow at the meeting. Alright, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.
friend in sight class. Ay, nena, you don't have to act like you are interested in knowing about me now and shit. Knock it off. Come on, we've been friends since elementary school. Why wouldn't I want to be interested? Me? Come on. Seriously? Yeah. All right, well, let me tell you that we uh, we got coffee and shit. It was so good. You're so wait, wait, cute. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is there a fucking problem? Now it's a fat leaf friend over there. He's going to hell. Hope he goes there soon. Listen, you little bitch. I don't know what your parents have been teaching you. Yeah, he's going to hell. But being gay ain't one of them. I don't die. That's probably defending him anyway. Stacy, oh. wait, you can't be freaking cursing little girls out like that. Fuck these little girls. Somebody needs to put them in their place before they grow clothes, mommy, just like they ignorant ass parents who probably want their little ugly fucking asses anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry for what I said. And I'm sorry you associate with Latin parents. Ah, Stacy, Stacy, thank you. Thank you. You know I love you. Oh. It's okay. Woo. Thank you. You know, you know I got your back, right? I, you know, we might argue, we might fight, but you know I'm o I always got your back, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now finish telling me about your friend. Okay, oh. so I was saying he's freaking amazing. So we got to Shit is a problem. Now shut the fuck up. Fuck with the gun in your face again. Yo, I'll tell you something. You got away with that shit last time, son. That shit ain't gonna happen again. Well, if you're gonna kiss, just do it. Shut your hoe ass up. Oh, now I'm a hoe. Well, you pay this hoe real good to suck your little dick. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is your problem, bro? You paying for sex now? Now I see why you got that bankroll in your pocket all the time, son. Yo, take this. Don't spit it all in one place, bro. <laughs> you ain't no real nigga, because if you were, he'd be on the ground right now. How about I drop you instead for being such a dumb bitch? Shoot me, little man. She a little girlfriend wouldn't mind visiting you in jail. Yo, what the fuck is your problem, man? She cool people, yo. Yo, so what I the fuck is eyes? wrong with yo. you? No, fuck that shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yo, chill. Yo, Vanessa, I got this, alright? Go ahead. Yo, take a walk, son. Let's go take a walk. Come on. What the fuck? Damn, nigga, you just stalking me now? Oh, um, I need to do laundry. You just picked up all your little church shit from the cleaners. Yep. Is this person bothering you? Person? You wanna get fucked up, bro? Come on, Kevin. Let me walk you home. Brother Lamar, you don't have to do that. Eh? I'm good. Okay, I just don't want you to get in trouble with the street trash. Street trash? Look, street trash, we about to leave. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go, Lamar, let's go. It's cool. But Kevin, we're gonna discuss this shit later. Kevin, why were you speaking to that person? Well, he just walked up to me and then I was trying to preach to him the word of the Lord and he didn't want to hear what I had to say, so he got hostile. Well, you have to remember this. You cannot save everyone. And come to think of it, why are you dressed like this again? I Nana, but I had such a good time with you today. It was so good. Yeah. Well, right now I'm gonna go to the alleyway, the shortcut. I hope I don't see Bobby. What? I please, Nana, I'm not gonna get hurt. You always think that. I'm serious, it's right there, and that is it's so easy to get home. 
Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye. What the fuck are you doing around here, faggot? I, I'm just trying to get home, that's it. I, I just gotta get home. What the fuck are you trying to get? What's your problem? What's going on? <laughs> you about to get fucked up, this what's going on. No, you're not. Get your ass out. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yo, Sean, leave him alone. God will take care of him, man. What the? I don't know who the fuck is he. Guys, I just gotta okay. get home. Can I just get through? I, I've done nothing to you guys, please. Man, you about to get fucked up, man. I didn't do shit to you. Oh, God, stop it, the fuck? To see more about your favorite character on Street Behavior, log on to www.streetbehavior.com.